Mary Meeker's 2017 internet trends report is released, Elon Musk draws his line with Trump, Nest's newest smart camera, and more. It's Wednesday, May 31st, and this is Crunch Report, brought to you by the high-performance, highly intelligent BMW 5 Series. What up, Tech Crunch land? You keeping up the hustle and doing your thing? If so, awesome. If not, maybe doing nothing is your hustle, so kudos. Here's the news. Every year, we wait with anticipation for Mary Meeker's Internet Trends Report, like little children at the window waiting for the ice cream man. This year, it's no different, and it's finally out. What juicy tidbits can we expect? Well, here's some initial takeaways. Smartphone sales and internet penetration growth are both slowing. Riveting. Google and Facebook control 85% of online ad growth. Fascinating. Esports are exploding with viewing time up 40% year over year and an equal number of millennials strongly preferring esports versus traditional sports. Perplexing. 60% of the most highly valued tech companies in America were founded by first or second generation Americans. That's pretty cool. The whole thing is a recommended read. Read the full report to get a lay of the land and all the goodies. I know they're called Nest Cams. But every time I see them, I just want to call them drop cams. But I digress. Nest has a new security camera in their lineup, taking its place alongside the Nest Cam and Nest Cam Outdoor. The new member of the family is the Nest Cam IQ. It's made for indoor use and has new, smarter built-in capabilities that benefit from its high-resolution 4K video sensor to pay better attention to those situations where you need it. The camera can detect different faces and send you only pertinent notifications when needed, like someone breaking in, but not your dog or child. The Nest IQ is available for pre-order now for $299 and will start shipping in June. Elon Musk has taken a lot of heat in the last few months for his choice to stay on Trump's Economic and Manufacturing Advisory Council in hopes of keeping the president's madness in check. Critics have argued that Musk is the mad one for thinking he can do anything but enable 45. But today we have learned that even Musk has a line that he isn't willing to cross. In a tweet, Musk gave Trump an ultimatum. If the president pulls out of the Paris Climate Agreement, he will pull out of Trump's council. Oh yeah, baby! Sweet Wild West justice. Yeehaw! Except, is it just me, or do those two things not seem equivalent? Actively supporting the destruction of the environment versus being on bad terms with one billionaire. I don't know, man. I think Musk needs a bigger stick. Samsung has been trying its hardest to stand on its own two feet after the disastrous Galaxy Note 7 launch. It's Wednesday, May 31st, 2017, and I can safely say Samsung is standing on one foot. Why do I say that? The company still exists, one foot. And the launch that's supposed to signal a new AI-enabled smartphone era for Samsung's personal assistant Bixby is being delayed. No second foot. Unlike Alexa, Siri, and Cortana, Bixby is struggling to comprehend English syntax and grammar. See, Bixby was supposed to launch alongside the S8, but didn't. And this is yet another sign that Samsung's PR department is running a bit ahead of its tech department. <laughs> That's true for for today. I'm Tito Hamzy. Crunch Report is every week at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on TechCrunch.com. You also find us on iTunes and on YouTube. All right, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow. Pew!